ThreadUp, we've talked about ThreadUp several times on this show and how they continue to add new brands to their program. Another one was announced this week. They're just gobbling them up. Crocs and ThreadUp have launched a clean-out program giving pre-loved items a second choice. Crocs, Inc., a global leader in innovative casual footwear. I don't own any Crocs, but (laughs) Uh, you can let me know if you do. I hear they're mighty comfortable, but I just can't get past how they look. Uh, Anyway, they have partnered with ThreadUp, one of the largest online resale platforms for women's and kids' apparel, shoes, and accessories, and announced a clean-out program to be enabled by ThreadUp's resale as a service platform. Designed to give these pre-loved items a second life, the program is part of Crocs' commitment to become a net zero company by 2030. Crocs joins some of the world's leading brands and retailers who deliver customized, scalable resale experiences to their customer through ThreadUp's resale as a service, which include, of course, Adidas, Gap, Madewell, and I don't know how many others we've talked about on this show over the last six months. Uh, Croc shoes, they say, are incredibly durable and perfectly built for a second life. So encouraging customers to consider reuse is extremely important to us, said Michelle Poole, the brand president at Crocs. Crocs and ThreadUp are both committed to keeping products in use and out of landfills. And we're thrilled to partner with ThreadUp to reduce our environmental footprint and bring us one step closer to achieving our net zero goal by taking action to create a more comfortable world. Crocs has put tremendous emphasis around reducing their environmental impact and waste, and ThreadUp is humbled to be part of their sustainability journey, said Pooja Sethi, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Resale as a Service at ThreadUp. By enabling Crocs customers to give pre-loved items a second life through ThreadUp's Resale as a Service, we're promoting reuse and inching closer to a more circular future for fashion. This program began on November 4th, so it is working right now. Crocs customers in the United States can generate a prepaid shipping label from threadup.com slash Crocs. Fill any shippable box with apparel, shoes, and accessories from any brand and ship it to ThreadUp for free. They say while it is encouraged, it is not required that customers donate Crocs shoes to participate in the clean-out program. As always, once the items are received, they must pass a rigorous quality inspection before they're listed on threadup.com, after which Croc sellers will receive a Crocs shopping credit for a limited time. Crocs is providing an additional bonus to encourage customers to participate. The credit can be used to purchase any items in store or online at crocs.com. So uh, they just they just keep growing and growing, uh, but they keep not making any money. <laughs> Uh, which we'll get into here in a second. Uh, Have Fun Flipping says, would not be shocked if in the next two years, ThreadUp opened up donation drop-offs and started thrift stores in big cities. Yeah, like we talked about a couple of weeks ago, they uh, did that pilot store in, I believe it was in Brooklyn with Madewell. So depending on how that went, I would not at all be surprised to see them do that sort of thing because uh, they need to start making some money. Now, the investment community still loves ThreadUp because there are, their growth is phenomenal, which we're going to get into here in a second. But they continue to lose millions of dollars. Uh, their third quarter results, all-time quarterly revenue was a new high, $63.3 million, which was a 35% jump over the previous year. Third quarter gross margin of 73% and gross profit growth of 41% year over year. They had a record number of buyers and orders. They also uh, talked about their announcement of their new Texas distribution center and bragged, of course, about what we just talked about, their resale as a service. They said they marked another quarter of exceptional financial performance with our platform demonstrating strong resilience amidst headwinds posed by the pandemic. This is an interesting quote. Supply continues to appear endless. So... Uh, that will be interesting to see how long that continues. But uh, demand for secondhand is increasing with more first-time buyers trying thread up. We're doubling down on our infrastructure investments so we can continue providing our buyers with a vast and ever-changing selection of great brands at great prices. Uh, their net loss for that quarter was $14.7 million, 23% of revenue. Uh, that compared last year, to an $11 million loss. Now, of course, you can attribute most of this to their growth efforts, signing on all these new brands, building this big distribution center. So they're spending money now, much like Amazon did in the early days, 
to prepare for a profitable future. Probably the most encouraging thing for them out of all this, active buyers were 1.4 million and orders were 1.3 million, which represented growth of 14 and 28% over the same period the year before. So ThreadUp is just crushing everything except profitability. And I'm, I'm pretty confident they're going to get there. Last week in the episode, we talked about Poshmark adding brand closets and courting big brands. They signed up multiple brands almost immediately. Lucky brand, free people among first to open a closet on Poshmark. Uh, they, as we said, they debuted this program just last week. They have launched partnerships with all dose of colors. So this program just announced, just taken out of beta and boom, they've already got big brands jumping on. So if you are a seller on Poshmark, keep your eyes out on that. Another big, hey, you watched all the way to the end. I appreciate it. If you want to catch the full reselling news podcast, click the video in the upper right hand corner. To never miss a show, you can subscribe down below.